In this video, we're taking a derivative of another function of the form, some function of x to the power of some other function of x. And I'm going to pop up a link to the previous video in this playlist, because I think that the easiest way to do this problem is to rewrite g of x as e to the natural log of g of x. Then you can use your rules for exponents to rewrite this original function, and then we can take its derivative. But in this video, I want to show you another technique for finding this derivative. I'm going to use a technique called logarithmic differentiation. And this technique comes in handy sometimes, so let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to take the natural log of both sides of this function before we take any derivatives. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the rules for logarithms to rewrite this right-hand side. We know that if inside of an argument of a logarithm there is an exponent in this form, we can take that exponent and move it out in front of the logarithm. Now let's take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to x. The derivative of natural log of y starts with 1 over y. However, since y is a function of x, the chain rule says that we need to multiply this result by the derivative of that y with respect to x. On the right hand side we have a product of two functions of x, so we're going to use the product rule. I'll pull the negative 10 out in front first. The product rule says we take the first term, we multiply it by the derivative of the second term, we add, then we take the derivative of the first term and multiply it by the second term. I'm going to make a little bit of room here. We're going to use the notation dy dx for this term, and let's take some of these derivatives. The derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. That 1 over x cancels with this x, just leaving us with a 1. Here, the derivative of x with respect to x is simply 1, leaving us just with the natural log of x. Now, dy dx is the derivative of y with respect to x, which is exactly what we were trying to find in the first place. If we want to get that by itself, we can just take this y, which is in the denominator here, multiply it on both sides of the equation, and we get an answer of negative 10y times the quantity 1 plus the natural log of x. Of course, all the way back in our original problem, we were given just a function of x and asked to find its derivative. So that result should just have x's in it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this y, which is x to the power of negative 10x, and we're going to plug that in right here. And using the notation from the first part of the problem, I'm just going to call that f prime of x. And that is going to be the final answer for this derivative. Had we used this other technique from the previous video, we would have come up with the same answer. So I hope that this helps you out with logarithmic differentiation. In the next problem of the day, we're going to start taking derivatives of inverse trig functions. So I'll see you there.